What is up everybody? John Grimsmo here. It is Monday, September 5 something, Labor Day. Um, it's supposed to be a holiday, but you know, when you gotta work, you gotta work. I have an exciting delivery tomorrow. As the last video I just put up showed, um, we bought that Nakamura lathe, which is fantastic. It comes tomorrow and it's going here. So essentially, today, in I'm running out of time, um, I have to move the Tormac lathe, my table, the Tormac mill, and that toolbox out of this corner because the Nakamura is going to go from that piece of table, the chip conveyor is going to go there, but the that corner to, if I can see it over there, that corner or something like that. So the Nak is going to take up the majority of this space. I got to get all this stuff out of here like immediately. So I, I almost forgot to start filming before um, I start moving stuff. So, so it is kind of tricky lifting this lathe. It's super great that we can lift it with a pallet jack. That's amazing. Um, but you got to kind of go in from an angle because you can't go in from the front because you see the leg kind of, there's no room here. Um, and this is basically a completely empty area on the inside. It did come with a steel plate on the bottom from shipping, but we sort of gave that to a fabricator friend because we didn't need it. And now we need it. Um, but as you can see, the legs kind of go under there in the back corner and I this is how we moved it uh, into the shop the first time right mm -hmm. so we're just taking the air off um, I've got air going to the collet closer to the parts catcher and to an air gun as well so that we got to drain the whole system to be able to take these lines out um, and then we'll start moving <laughs> Tormac lathe moved over there. We're just sort of shuffling stuff around. I believe the mill is going to get parked here in front of the yellow shelf for now. I, I don't know where else we could put it because um, we still use it a little bit. So it's, it's going to go there for now. The lathe is going to float until we figure out what to do with it. Um, I wanted to point out so we've got the mill here with just enough room behind it to walk behind it. And on the side, it's it's like a tight fit to get past here. And it's always really awkward, like, you know, getting back here if you ever have to. And you have to do it more than you think you do. Like with the Mori, uh, the, the instruction manual basically says you want three feet behind it. And now we can comfortably walk behind here even with the uh, transformer right there. So when you're placing equipment, it is really nice to have the room to get around it, um, to do maintenance, to change out the coolant tank, to like do stuff, get to the airlines behind it. So just keep that in mind when you're placing all your stuff. We're, we're trying to figure that out with the Nakamura too. Um, again, they want three feet behind it and uh, should, be, should be a good amount of room, just like with the Mori. So we're just getting all the ancillary stuff. The, Eric just put the foot pedal inside. We're unplugging the computer so that Eric can roll the cabinet away. Um, the lights are plugged in, but we can change that. Done. That airline's gotta come out and then we're good. The mill is a lot easier to move than the lathe because it's, it's like centrally weighted. Put the pallet jack right in from the front and it's all centered. The lathe is very awkward and off-centered. Yeah, it would have been almost nice if they made the lathe just slightly wider or something so you can get it in like nice. Yeah. I guess there's different sizes of pallet jacks, but yeah. I think this is kind of standard. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, pallets are pretty standard. True. 
playing jigsaw trying to get everything in place. Okay, now we can pull the Tormac back out. place right next to the beast this might be a little tight but we're skinny people this little gap right there there is enough room to walk behind it maybe a little bit tighter than ideal but we can still access everything on the shelf you know get behind the middle to do whatever we need to do um, any tighter and it starts getting tighter here to the stairs or there to the mori or whatever we can always move it like pallet jack makes that easy it's looking good now just clear out all this stuff sweep it clean it so there is going to be from this tape that's where the corner of the new lathe is going to be we've got maybe four feet to the wall and i don't know six feet to the back so there will be a, a corner back here However, there will only be maybe two feet from the lathe to the mill, two and a half maybe. Um, so you can't really get anything through here, like a table or a workbench or, you know, unless it can be disassembled and, and put through here. So I, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to put in here, maybe folding tables or something, but we'll figure it out. Very excited. Are you ready? Um. All right, so we got the Tormax moved. We're gonna go home now. It is Labor Day, it's like vacation day. So tomorrow morning we're gonna come in early and we're gonna like clean all this stuff up and then the land is gonna come probably late morning. And it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow, bye. Make it really, really awkward. But I was trying to walk away. Like I was and, trying and to look be the really cool, cool guy. Like, and, yeah, like no. I'm walking off screen.